A water emergency in Fort Lauderdale, a pipe burst near Los Olas last month. And the situation is still so dire that the city is now delivering cases of drinking water to families. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live now with what he's learned today. Andrew. The broken pipe, it was actually fixed a while ago, but the water inside of it has yet to come back clean ever since. And residents are wondering how much longer. How come it hasn't been fixed? Frustrations boiling over as residents still boil their water. Three weeks is a long time to boil your water for washing and doing dishes and cooking. Pretty much everybody is upset, angry over it. The city of Fort Lauderdale sending residents pallets and pallets full of water. Condos sending out instructions on how to pick it up as they go on more than two weeks under a boil water order after a pipe burst back in January. I've been showering in water that's allegedly, you know, tainted. A water pipe burst near Las Olas tainting the drinking water. A three block section here impacted condos near Southeast 3rd and Las Olas Boulevard. The city says the pipe was fixed in a matter of hours, but the water, despite some flushing, wasn't coming back clean. Back here gets into the system. Uh, we flush it out and it's cleared within a few days. The city's director of public works says in this case that didn't happen. The dead ends in that area made it harder to flush this out. We have gone through a series of incremental measures to increase the pressure of the water, the, the area that we've been trying to flush out to get it out. None of it worked, so now crews are preparing a powerful chlorine injection expected to start overnight. There have been six boil water orders in just the past few weeks across the city of Fort Lauderdale. Officials say the cold may be what did these old pipes in. So city leaders are actually in the middle also of a multi-million dollar plan to fix and replace all of these aging pipes in a fast growing downtown area. Authorities are hoping that the chlorine injection tonight will get the boil water order lifted, hopefully by Monday. We'll keep you posted. As latest here in downtown Fort Lauderdale, I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew, thank you.